I joined UBC in July of 1999 with the purpose of setting up a wine research centre here. UBC is a cutting edge university here at UBC and that's where I wanted to be to do my research. We needed a wine library where we could store the wines under temperature and humidity control conditions, which is all controlled within the cellar, so we can follow the ageing process of these wines. These racks were all made from redwood from California. It's the only wood that doesn't off-gas, right? It's a fantastic wood and it's made to last. The air conditions are about the seating, right? And also the humidifiers. If you don't control the humidity, the corks dry out and the wine start to leak, right? So you have to have temperature and humidity control, which is optimum. And we have a fantastic mass spectrometer in the laboratory, so we can analyze each of these wines and determine the volatile and non-volatile compounds and how it changes during fermentation. And because we have all of the great wines around the world, we can analyze those wines as well and compare the volatile and non-volatile compound to compounds in these wines and compare that to the wines in the Okanagan Valley. I mean, these are some of the wines that were kindly donated by the wineries. And you can see these are some of the best wines made in the Okanagan. And every year we open one bottle and analyze the wines and we have a tasting panel made of, of, of experts and they analyze the wines and we can provide feedback to the wineries. Up to now we've had a significant amount of money and wines donated to the Wine Research Center and we've used these wines to train our graduate students. And these are some of the wines made by my graduate students. You can see they don't have caps on and we're studying the aging of these wines and these wines were made with the yeast that, that were engineered in our laboratory. Well I had a fantastic student, Brad Greatrix. Uh, he was uh, elected to go into medicine but he also loved wine and he wanted to do his MSc in my laboratory. And one day, I, I, I usually open, uh, I have a session where I have the students taste these wines so they can get to taste the good wines. And I asked Brad to read up on the 61 defeat, which he did, and asked him to, to talk to the, the fellow graduate students. And he did that for 10 minutes. And we tasted the wine, incredible wine. And the next day, Brad came to me and said he canceled his subscription to medicine and he was going to become a winemaker. And he's now making fantastic sparkling wine in England. Uh, there are three things in life that I, I think if people have these three things in life, they're very important. It's good food, good wine, and good people. I find it hard to go to sleep at night, you know. Yeah. I think about what's happening, and early in the mornings I'm here, and I just love it.